Well, Kelvin Gastelum has been a dominant force nearly every step of the way thus far in the UFC. And really, Joe, a guy who's got all the skills you would like to see in a future UFC champion. He's got striking, takedowns, takedown defense, opportunistic with his submission game. And of course, all the heart and toughness you could ever want to go with it. Kelvin Gastelum under the bright lights again tonight, Joe. Kelvin Gastelum shocked the world when he was the underdog, but yet defeated the dangerous Uriah Hall to win the Ultimate Fighter in a weight class one step above his natural weight of 170 pounds. So here is the ex-gym product, Ronaldo Xhaka de Souza, a guy who many believe right now at present is the best middleweight in the world. For much of his UFC career, he has been on the brink of a UFC title shot. Perhaps there is one coming down the pipe, but you can be sure when it does, Xhaka de Souza will likely be favored by odds makers to win that UFC middleweight championship. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. The American is 26. The Brazilian is 38. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gaston! And now we're using his opponent. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 6 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This to has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Well, they have cleared out the hardwood. They have made way for the octagon as we get underway here at Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Oh! Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh! That's a big right hand. Oh. Right hand. Oh! In on a double leg takedown here. shaka has got the clinch game going early here tonight. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. Double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally, now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Looking for 
with a choke, gets the arm into the neck, pulls him down to the ground. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. He might be forced to tap. His choke is getting tighter and tighter. Outstanding. And that will do it. Great job. Didn't waste any time. Took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient. Knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort. Even better technique here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 19 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out. So congratulations to the longtime ex-gym product, Jacare Souza, world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills. And that wasn't all that was on display here tonight. He showed you the strides he has made with his striking as well. Such a strong middleweight and certainly proved as much here tonight as he gets another big W.